So this here is the headline on the article. It says, Teen Vogue pushes prostitution as legit profession, like a medical doctor. And even the feminists are enraged, okay? Now let me tell you what, when you get the feminists enraged, man, I'll tell you what, you've done something crazy because they're usually for everything in the book. But this was an op-ed that was written and published in Teen Vogue, okay? Now teen can be like 13, all the way up to 18, or even 19, right? Teen Vogue. And this op-ed actually is pro it's promoting prostitution. I don't know any other way to see it. But I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen, what the, uh, the op-ed said. And uh, we can go over it here. I mean, this is just unbelievable that they're marketing this to teen girls. But this is what one of the uh, op-ed writers said. So... Here we go. Let's see. Right here. It says, Not all sex workers <laughs> engage in penetrative sex, though undeniably that is a big part of sex work. Uh, sex worker services between consenting adults may include companionship, intimacy, non-sexual role-playing, dancing, escorting, and stripping. These roles are often predetermined and all parties should be comfortable with them, she explained. Oh my gosh. Okay, so already the intro is powerful. It, it, it's already saying that, hey, listen, this is between consenting adults, and, you know, and sometimes, you know, companionship and intimacy and, you know, with these people that you don't even know. So here, right in the opening, they're talking about sex work, you know, being okay. And a little bit earlier in the article, and and you can look this up, you find it on Google, just type in Teen Vogue Promotes Prostitution, you'll see all the articles. But earlier in the article, what it was, what it was referring back to is the red light district over there in uh, certain parts of the world, if you know where I'm talking about. I don't want to say the country, because then they'll probably block my content, but you know what I mean, the red light district. And um, so what's happening is they're, they're going to ban prostitution. And the rides that men get through the red light district to pick up women is going to be against the law now. And uh, so this was in response to that. So this op-ed writer here thinks that, uh, yeah, you know, go pick up a strange woman and, you know, sleep with her, rape her, do whatever happens to these victims of sex trafficking and prostitution. Yeah, that's okay. You know, don't worry about that. Uh, you know, it's consenting adults, so they should be able to do whatever they want. Now, I'm a big liberal guy, you know, not liberal as in Democrats, but liberal as in, you know, I believe that... Uh, People should be able to have their choice to do what they want. You know, so it's more like a libertarian, if you follow what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, legalizing prostitution, not a good idea. Uh, yeah, too much bad stuff happens. Sexual transmitted diseases, crimes, all sorts of other things. It's just not, it's not kosher. But anyway, this one wants to, you know, tell the teen girls of Teen Vogue that it's okay. So, yeah, I'm not having it. But let's go on to the next slide. I can't believe I'm even having to, to even talk about this tonight, but... All right. I exchange payment in the form of money with people to provide them with advice and treatment for sex-related problems. Therapy for sexual performance, counseling and therapy for relationship problems, and treatment of sexually transmitted infection. Isn't this basically sex work? <laughs> this is what she's saying. So here's this medical doctor, and she's a, a, a medical doctor, and she's actually comparing the sex work, okay, in the red light district over there, prostitution, to what she does as an actual medical doctor. Is this lady wacko? I mean, is this like Illuminatus or what, man? This is just absolutely un-freaking-believable. Let's compare prostitution to a medical doctor. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right. Let's keep going here. I do not believe it is right or just that people who exchange sexual services for money are criminalized. And I am not for what I do. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I do not believe it is right or just that people, or just that people who exchange sexual services for money are criminalized. And I am not for what I do. Okay, is a medical degree really the right measure of who is deserving of dignity, 
autonomy, safety in the workplace, fair trade, and freedom of employment? No, this should not be so. Those who engage in sex work deserve those things too. Aww. So if you're a prostitute and you're out there sleeping on the streets and sleeping with multiple men or women, because uh, it happens on both sides, then you should be able to have everything that everybody else does. You see what this is doing? It's normalizing prostitution. This is what they're putting into the minds of impressionable young girls. That prostitution is a, is a legit good way to work, even compared to being a medical doctor. Teen freaking Vogue. You have got to be absolutely kidding me. Unfreaking believable. I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is just, this is insane. So, this person uh, says here that uh, she went on to argue that continuing to criminalize prostitution harmfully impacts women and trans-identified males who call themselves women and therefore sex worker rights constitute a feminist and women's rights issue. Oh, okay, so prostitution is a women's rights issue. So the women should be up in arms and they should be out there fighting for the right to, to uh, legalize prostitution is what she's saying. But what's interesting is the feminists are not even happy with this. They're outraged. I mean, this is the most demeaning thing ever. And you know what's amazing is you have all this Me Too movement and stuff. And you have the, you know, the left and the liberals in Hollywood and everybody all going crazy about the Me Too movement. And it's exposing all these guys mistreating women and all that. And that's great that, it's, that that's happening. But then teen freaking Vogue over here can basically tell young girls that prostitution is okay. And where's the outrage? Where, where, I, I'm just saying, where's the outrage? I mean, is there a double standard here? I mean, what, what the heck is going on around this place? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. All right. So Teen Vogue is grooming a generation of young girls into prostitution. This is what uh, the, the article that I'm reading is saying. One of the most violent, dehumanizing, and traumatizing industries on the planet and convincing them that this form of violence against women is a good job <laughs> option. Can you believe that? A good job option, said Layla McElwaite, director of Abolition at Exodus Cry in a Monday interview with the Christian Post. And you know, oh, well, see, it's just a Christian having a problem with this. No, I think we can all agree that prostitution is not a healthy thing for women and young girls to get involved into. And, you know, I mean, come on. It doesn't take too much to have to agree on that. And when you look at what happens with the women that get raped, you look at women that get beat, you look at all the stuff that happens, and I'm telling you, there's kids that get wrapped up in this, young girls trafficking. This is absolutely horrible that this magazine is doing this. And I don't know where the outrage is, but they're encouraging young women to put themselves in compromising positions, put themselves in dangerous positions where they can get hurt, potentially even raped. And, and there's no outcry? Teen Vogue, it's okay for them to, to promote this to 13-year-old girls? I'd be absolutely outraged. If I was a parent, and if you're a parent that's letting your kids read this garbage... Please stop it now. Promoting prostitution to young girls is not only pushing them towards sexual exploitation, but is also effectively promoting sex trafficking because according to both domestic and international law, anyone under the age of 18 that is prostituted is legally a victim of sex trafficking. She continued, adding that the publication should be reprimanded for pushing the normalization of sexual violence and exploitation upon the thousands of impressionable girls who read it. Amen to that. Where is the outrage? I hope you that are listening to this and watching this are outraged. And I hope you stand up against this. Share this video. Comment on it, like the video, share it, get the word out of what Teen Vogue is pushing 
into these young girls' minds. And this isn't the first time Teen Vogue has had issues. They've been pushing a very liberal, liberal sexual agenda to these young girls for quite some time. Even pushing lesbianism. They had articles about bondage at one point. I, to 13-year-old girls? This is all part of the Illuminati's plan to demoralize the youth. That's one of their goals. Demoralize the youth. Get the youth to be in bondage to their words. Illuminati words, not mine. Get the youth to be in bondage to their sins and they will be easier to control. So you have magazines like this that are peddling this smut garbage telling young girls it's okay to be a prostitute and that's a great job to have. Just like being a medical doctor. Absolutely outraged. And this magazine should be ashamed of itself and there should be definitely reprimanded for doing this. That's my thoughts. I look forward to yours. Thanks for watching and listening. God bless. Take care.